from Local 24, Sports with Doc Holliday. Hi, how are you? Well, today is the day, the 17th ranked 12 and 1 University of Memphis football playing Tigers facing off with the 10 and 2 10th ranked Penn State Nittany Lions in the 84th Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic. The Tigers playing in the biggest game in school history. Ryan Silverfield taking over for Coach Mike Norvell earlier this month. The first quarter, he done like this. Tigers up 3 0 for a moment. Penn State running back Journey Brown just destroying everyone on a 32 yard big boy touchdown run. That's what you call an out. But the Tigers answer back. Next possession, senior Patrick Tavis Jr. finds some space. Show the balance young Royal. He does it from three yards out. Tigers take a 10-3 lead. Second quarter, though, that Penn State running game with Brown assault the Tigers again. This time, he finds a huge hole, and he is fast. He goes 56 yards to the touchdown. Brown, 16 carries, 202 yards, two touchdowns. Penn State up 35-23 at the half. Third quarter, Tigers fighting back. Riley Patterson looking for one of his Cotton Bowl record six field goals. He makes this one from 41 yards out. Tigers down 38-36. Late third quarter, Tigers still down two mistakes. Brady White pressure just throws it up. Penn State's Gary Taylor plucks it out of the air. White with a great game, 455 yards, but he had two picks, no touchdowns. Penn State adding another touchdown and wins 53 to 39. Local 24 is Jessica Benson. Talk to the Tigers. He's now talking to us live from Arlington. JB. Hey, Doc. The Memphis Tigers' greatest season in program history ends with a loss in the Cotton Bowl. But today, this Memphis team proved that they belong. They're 39 points, the most Penn State has allowed all season. That's a Big Ten team whose schedule includes college football playoff contender Ohio State. So first 12 win season, first trip to a New Year's Six Bowl, and AAC champions, even though this Tigers team comes up 14 points shy of bringing home the trophy, this season's going to go down as a major win. I told our guys, hold your heads up high. Be proud of what you've accomplished. Uh, obviously, we've got a bad taste in our mouth right now, but I don't want anybody getting on our plane with their eyes down, not being proud of what they are. They, they all battled. Words can't even ex explain how proud I am. You know, I'm proud, extremely proud of my boys. You know what I'm saying? We, we fought. You know, we just came up short. A lot of people thought we were just going to come, come out here and get rolled over, but uh, we went out there and fought. I think we had, their, had them on their heels. I mean, we were talking about how we thought we, they were scared. Just to put put your all in something all year long and, you know, to come short, uh, it's always going to be emotional. You know, I try not to show it, but I couldn't help it. But, um, you know, then I started thinking, uh, you know, we're in the Cotton Bowl, New Year's Six, first time to ever do it, uh, first time champions, AAC for Memphis, and um, we're blessed. Obviously, I'm, I'm pissed off that we didn't finish it with a W, but um, there's a lot, a lot of history that has been made, a lot of records broken, a lot of positives to take away, and the only thing you can take away from this is, is to have more fire. And you can see behind me, they're already tearing apart this field, getting it turned around for the Cowboys game tomorrow where that Memphis brand will stay strong because you can see Tony Pollard out here. But I do have to say, if the Memphis team had won, those Memphis fans wouldn't have allowed them to get to work so fast because they'd still be here partying. They made AT&T Stadium feel like a home game today, and most of them stayed to the very end. They gave the Tigers a standing ovation on their way off the field. I need to get off the field. For now, from Arlington, Jessica Benson, Local 24 Sports.